Hi there, I'm Brian. I recently purchased my Perkins knife from Amazon and I wanted to share with you my review of this knife. As you can see it's the Bushmaster knife made of Damascus steel. Here I have a sheet of plain legal paper and I missed my catch point. I moved my hand over and slices right up. Nice and sharp from the factory. But sometimes a knife will do slivers no problem but won't shave. So let's test again. As you see, it's pulling hairs away nice and easy. Now let's take a look at that sheath. The snap on here is nice and strong. It's tough to pull away and it's uh, just as tough to close, so I know it's not going to pop, uh, pop open on me out in the field. Uh, the fire steel came with a piece of leather wrapped through it, and I got rid of the uh, leather and wrapped myself some paracord along with a uh, uh, steel uh, key in. Um, the reason for that was to make it easy to hold on to and also so that it wouldn't slip out of the uh, sheath. It fits really loose in there and uh, can fall out on its own. Which I'm going to show you right here. I didn't want that to happen so what I did was I created a uh, loop so the knife or the uh, steel would fit across the top. Paracord is sit on top of the knife without damaging it and now it uh, holds itself in there nice and tight. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the knife. Pull everything out of the way and get nice and clear. It's Damascus steel, wood handle with uh, brass pinnings. Take a look at the other side. There's uh, nice center point on it just below the choil. It's got some rear jibbing which does help with uh, holding it. I wasn't impressed with the fact that it, uh, the choil doesn't uh, go all the way to the back end of the blade so it's going to make it kind of hard to sharpen all the way down but I shouldn't have a problem with uh, uh, my belt sander. There's no jibbing on the back uh, of the choil to hold it from the top, but uh, I don't feel that's a necessity, um, just a perk. And of course there's perkin. Very nicely uh, etched on there. As you can see it's got those uh, nice brass fittings and a uh, loophole at the bottom in case you want to insert some paracord or uh, whatever. Somehow I managed to uh, not record the first section where I was batoning these logs in half, but I'll baton another one in quarters for you to see here. I've done about five full ones uh, about the same size around here. As you can see it uh, goes through it fairly quick and easy and that was a very light stick that I was using to drive with. The blades edge remained nice and smooth. No nicks no edge difference and of course steel sharp enough to shave with. Overall a great great knife. 